Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where the science is all about trying to learn various concepts of the science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the advanced equal 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced equal problems and topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called actors and directors who cooperated at least three times and tried to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 22nd video of the series called actors and directors who cooperated at least three times. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked this to Amazon for a couple of times. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called actor director with three different columns, actor, director ID and timestamp. Timestamp is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. We are asked to write a solution to find all the pairs of actor and director where the actor has cooperated with the director at least three times. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have a number of records for actor, director and the timestamp. So which actor director combination is at least three times. So one and one has timestamp zero, one and th two, right? So at least three times this actor director combination one and one has cooperated with each other. But if we look at one and two, so only two times two and one only two times. So here one and two and two and one are not the same thing. Why? Because actor ID one is not going to be the same as director ID one. That is what we have in our output so not a very difficult question what we need to do is basically we can group by the actor id and then the director id and since we are filtering based on an aggregate value that is the count of the combination then we can use the having clause so what i'm saying is from this table called actor director right if we can group by the actor id and then director id Okay, and let me return the actor ID and director ID and let's count how many times they have cooperated. Each pair has cooperated. So return this and let me do count star and uh, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Not yet complete, but let's look at what we have. Okay, so here we know that actor ID 1 and director ID 1 has cooperated 3 times. 1, 2 has cooperated 2 times, 2, 1 has cooperated 2 times. We are only required to keep actors and directors who have cooperated at least 3 times. That is, the count starts should be at least 3 or more. So, what we can do is we can do having count star, having count star greater than equal to 3. And in those cases, we need to keep only the actor id and director id so let me remove this part let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this past all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was group by the actor id and director id so that we have the pairs and then we filtered by an aggregate value that is at least they cooperated three or more times so we use the having clause and we return the actor id and director id so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.